Sometimes when people have less proficiency with ICT applications, they think that they follow a program. This is not true, of course, and you will see, and, and the way I'm using my um, recording um, facilities for these tutorials actually allows me to stop, pause, and then start again. And I really need it because I do things as I remind myself of them. Nobody really for each application remembers every move. You always search for the solution. So, okay. What we want to do is to actually learn about the sidebar. Is it important? Just for a moment. Okay, so let's click on it, edit sidebar. Now, here's your navigation. This is a logo. You don't have any logo, but we don't need any logo for this website because this is pretty much good. We're happy with it. So, um, so we, we're happy with the way the top of our website looks. So now let's go to edit navigation bar. You see how you have things ticked? I don't like sitemap, I remove it. I don't need too many navigation uh, buttons around my website. Now this is really tricky now. If you actually tick automatically organi organize my nav navigation. Now I'm just gonna leave it for two to show you some things that might be problem. Um, in the website, which I created for us, I only have one. Um, there was a reason, and I'm sure that this reason will come up in the, when I'm trying to design this one. Anyhow, so automatically organize my navigation, right? We tick it because we like it. If we, if we don't, then we can actually uh, insert pages here manually by add page and then look for pages here and then say, okay, there was no page, well then, okay, we'll cancel. So automatically, you can actually manually here add pages or URLs in your menu. At this very moment, we will just leave it for automatically. We can create as many menus as you wish. So one could be automatically organized and one could be manually organized. I don't recommend that because sometimes they just look so different that it looks a bit ugly for someone uh, like me, like I just am really a little bit hung up on detail. Okay, so let's have it automatically organized. The trick here is to actually know that the navigation bar will be organizing your pages alphabetically. So if you would like your curriculum vitae to be above um, anything else like about me for example and about me is starting with the letter a and curr curriculum with c so you've got to name your pages in such way that you actually are mindful of the fact that your pages would be organized by the names you give them and they will be lined up in your menu alphabetically so the thing which has an area name or starts with an area letter will be above the next one. Okay, so simple. All right, we're happy now with it. And save, you see how it's gonna go here? Now you have to save and then go back to the side. Okay, so what do we want? We want some things here. Let's, image, let's make it a bit, okay, let's make it first simple. Let's, this is the edit page button. So we click on it. And now we could of course type here and have a long page and everything. I don't like these things. I just like organizing my page into bits. So you go to layout and you've got different ways of uh, organizing your home page. The recent way I've been actually organizing my home page is by clicking on left sidebar. So see what happens, okay? I've got space here, space here, and space here, and space here, you see how nice? Without me actually worrying about margins. So, typically I wouldn't write anything here, but just to show you that this thing exists, so welcome to my home page. Okay. So we're here at this very moment. I'll show you some other things, but um, 
For example, let's say that we want to insert picture, so we go insert image. It will take us to my images. There we go. Happy me in Thailand. We could put it here. And there we go. Now this is a bit big, a bit big, isn't it? And this is very interesting trick I'm going to teach you right very, this very second. How to reduce your image. You click on it and you can make it small. And sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. So what you actually can do, first thing you must do, doesn't matter whether it becomes smaller or larger after you click on small, medium or large. You've got to actually use the set settings of the thing, of the Google Sites. Now you put your cursor next to your picture. You see it? Not, not here, but right here. You can see it's flashing here. So now we have a cursor here. Look, you can go to HTML and you can actually manually decide how big you want your picture and say that I wanted half a size as it is. So I would actually go with 80 and height 100. So it will be very small. Okay, but this is just, you click update. And look at that. It happened. So you can actually manually control the size of your picture. 